Welcome back. A new large international study finds pregnant women who get COVID at any point during their pregnancy are at greater risk of being admitted into the intensive care unit. Mandy Gaither has more on the research and what women can do to protect themselves and their baby. New evidence that getting COVID-19 during pregnancy can have devastating effects. This was a very large study, about 13,000 pregnant women, 12 countries, 12 studies all put together that they reviewed. The research found that the pregnant people studied who got COVID-19 were nearly four times more likely to be admitted to an ICU at 15 times greater risk of getting put on a ventilator and seven times more likely to die compared to those who were pregnant and not infected. There was also an increased risk of conditions like preeclampsia, hypertensive disorders, and blood clotting. Researchers found dangers for babies too. There was an increased risk of preterm birth, low birth weight, and getting admitted to a neonatal ICU. Health experts say getting vaccinated is the best way to protect those pregnant and their babies. Right now, about 72% of pregnant people in the U.S. receive their first series. Only about 19% have gotten an updated booster. The CDC, the American College of OBGYN, Society of Maternal Fetal Medicine all support the safety and the benefits of getting vaccinated during pregnancy at any point, getting your booster if you're eligible, and also if you're conceiving or planning on getting pregnant. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Pregnant women can also protect their babies by getting a COVID vaccine. Antibodies from the vaccine will also help protect newborns. Now, in another study, we've learned children suffer the most when they get hit with multiple respiratory illnesses at once. That's according to the Journal of Pediatrics. They looked at children under five who were hospitalized with COVID and a second virus, such as a cold. Uh, those patients were significantly more likely to receive increased oxygen support or be admitted to the intensive care unit. Stands to reason that they may be hit a little bit harder and get a little sicker. The winter's not over. Those viruses are still out there. Let's continue to take good precautions. Well, the CDC does say the flu and RSV cases have started to decline in most areas, but COVID cases are on the rise compared to the fall.